if you're a business person, you need to go ahead and focus 100% on your business. That's where your focus needs to be. You don't worry about the stuff like I limit my Facebook fuckery time because you know, fuckery is fun, right? So I limit it. I'll post political stuff on there and then I'll bounce, you know, I'll stay an hour or two, but I got work to do. You should align yourself with your audience, your marketplaces to the point that when they twitch, you know about it. You got to be that deep into your customer base. You have to be that deep into who you're trying to sell your products and services to. I'm going to hit Benjamin. Benjamin, I went through my phone and called all of my customers and got overwhelmed with business. Update from your last video. There's so many people who don't want to pick up the phone. Congratulations, Benjamin. I'm telling you, I am giving you in these videos the, the secret sauce, the techniques, the step-by-step -step play where you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. It's here if you would do the work as Benjamin just giving me some feedback. Because if you got customers, I, like I say, you don't even have that many. Let's say you got 200 customers. If you get on the habit of picking up the phone and calling them, because nobody does. They're all trying to do what I did, and I'll explain that probably in some other video. It was just a byproduct of a lot of hard work and perfect timing. There was a conversation on my personal Facebook page that's going on about racism and other stuff. And here's the thing. Racism is a byproduct for the fight for economics and resources. And if you're trying to treat a disease or something like that, and you're going to deal with the symptom versus going to the core, you're always going to have the disease. Like, you know, a lot of people don't want to talk about racism. I have people who I will not watch this video and who will leave this channel because I have the audacity to talk about racism when they really don't want to confront their own racism, so they run away. Uh, the, the big deal of this is we, we've got a lot of problems going on in this country, and we are being pushed back on an epic level to the Stone Ages. So if you're a business person, how do you handle this? What kind of business do you go into? Do you continue with Amazon FBA? It is um, really crazy how many people are kind of freaking out about what's going on now. I'm getting the joker face. You know what that's about. You know what that's about. But you have to be focused. You have to be really, really focused on your business. Because here's the thing. Let's say all this madness is happening with Trump. And there's going to be a ton of blowback with that. If you focus on your business, you will make money. Now, why, would, why is this the case? Because, you know, there are many people who are trying to start online businesses. Fully, 90% of all commerce that's, you know, exchange of goods and services for money that's done in the United States is done offline, which means if you serve your customer really, really well, you're going to make money, regardless of what this fool does. And also, with that, you're going to need to make money. I was having this conversation with what I call this uh, spiritual person, uh, Hotep Nation, about, you know, we should work together. We should get some land. We should uh, make some vegetable, you know, plant some vegetables and raise some chickens and stuff. I think that's cool. If you want that simple type of life, that's cool. But in these United States of America, or I should say the Corporation of America, if you want to get the benefits of being in America, you need to have a corporation within the corporation of the corporation of America. I had someone in the video talking about, you don't need an LLC. You don't need an S corp. Without the legal structure of an LLC or an S corp or whatever, and you have a business, there is no separation between you and that business, which means all your personal assets are at risk. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm not going to argue with this fool. If something happens, and God forbid, I don't want him to lose anything. I don't want him to be ass out. But if he gets fucked in the ass because he's too stupid to see the truth, let the, again, focus really, really hard. Because understand, there is, let's just, let's go back to 2009 when I started this channel. We're in a recession, one of the worst recessions next to the Great Depression. And many people call it the second Great Depression. I thrived. Why? I found customers. I found an audience and I served them well. I gave them content, great information, ways to make money. Many of those people are still here, even though I changed the direction of the channel. You got to really, really hone in on that and become myopic with your business. And here's a few things. I suggest that you don't watch the news. I suggest you read the news. Now, there's spin in everything, whether it's on television or if it's print, but the print 
spin is a little easier to manage than the stuff that's like right in your face. So start reading the news. Also, make yourself aware. Because with some of this fuckery, there's profit in it. I've made a lot of money off Trump. It's like I got him on the whole stroll. And I'm just sitting there like, you know what? When you are in crazy land, you have to be governed by the laws of crazy land. We, let's take the office of president. For many, many years, regardless of what side you were on, the offices, the offices for the presidency was respected. You didn't say things about the president. Then Obama got in office. Witch doctor, bone through the nose. Michelle Obama's a chimp. So all that respect went out the window. Since we're in crazy land, I'm going to be, I'm going to govern myself like I'm in crazy land. I will say certain things that will be very, very unpresidential. That would be quite disrespectful because when you're in crazy land, crazy land laws govern. Trying to be sensible with someone who is not sensible is a dangerous. It's like being honorable to people who are dishonorable. That could cost you your life. These are the rules. This is the, this is the environment. Now, if you are really on your game, you can make so much money. Melissa V, I just need to do 600 more in the next two days to hit 3K profit this month. I credit your videos to keep me focused. Awesome. Congratulations. I like to hear that. <laughs> the media is paused. It, it can be. I'm the media. You know, I this is media. This is me putting out my thoughts and opinions. It's just I tell you they're my thoughts and opinions. I don't pre present certain things unless they're truth. And if they're truth, I can back them up with third party resources and see that's one of the things in this world of alternative facts and fake news there are many people i'm gonna tell you a story and it's very really scary um someone i know was at work and she heard two trump supporters say this when he brings those jobs back i'm gonna get me one of those good engineering jobs this person who actually believes that it's possible and doesn't know what it takes to be an engineer can you imagine the the snap, you know, when Dave Chappelle had the show and Clayton Bixby and when, you know, he took the hood off and people said it was black and one guy's head exploded. That's what's going to happen. It's crazy stuff. Promotion ABC. Is there a balance in focusing? What kind of focus should I have while the house is burning down? First thing, promotion ABC is get the fuck out of the burning house. Once you're on the grass, you are you need to start focusing. You should focus on things um, that make you money. Let's say. Let's say you're doing internet marketing. Uh, forget Facebook and also you got to create some kind of direct response marketing mechanism where you put out content and offer something, you send it to people and they respond. That's the quickest way for you to make money. Focus on that, focus on the audience. Because, like I said, parts of the house are burning down. Let's be clear. This the country isn't in flames yet. We do have a lot of fires all over the place. And Part of this stuff, and as I was trying to explain to someone, is this isn't so much about you know racism. I know racism played a part, but it isn't. This is about dictatorship. This is really, really scary stuff because, see, this is how a dictator acts. If you're with me, you're cool. If you're not with me, off with your head. These are very, very scary things. And we're a long, 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 long way from the dictatorship thing, but... Seeds are being planted and people are ignoring them. And I'm just going to intersect that with that because as a business owner, once you get a certain level of success, you get to choose a better neighborhood. You get to choose better opportunities. You get to choose your, your circle of friends changes. So to a degree, you'll be insulated from a lot of this bullshit. But if you're the average dude or the average girl out there on the street, you're barely making it. Or, you know, you've got parents on Medicaid. They're going to get crushed. You're just going to get crushed at some point. You're going to see some crazy stuff that happens, and you're going to need money. You're going to need money. You're going to need to prepare yourself because, once again, the more money you have, the less this stuff is going to bother you unless you're an immigrant. There's going to be a lot of backlash against successful immigrants because there are people who think that these folks don't work hard. There are people out there who think that they have all these PhDs and these businesses they have. It was just given to them and they were secret government loans. I work closely with Hispanics. I work closely with Asians and they work together with like, okay, hold on. 
Okay, um, you want to do this business? Okay, there you go. When you get your business up, you pay me back and you put in the pot and we help someone else. That's what the fuck they do. That's what they do. I've seen it. West Indians do it. Asians do it. Hispanics do it. They do that stuff. There's a culture. There's one person who keeps the money. But a lot of dumbass, uninformed, ignorant-ass Americans think that somebody just gave them that. He's got that Porsche because there's a government grant to grab him that Porsche. How the fuck that? He risked his life leaving this country, coming to another country, starting with nothing, not even knowing the language, and over hard work, built a business. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. He got some unfair. Yes, he did. And then we need to end that because we need to make America great again. And I'm, you know, I'm making jokes and I'm talking shit, but you know, really I'm pissed because when you allow this level of racism and bigotry and xenophobia to go unchecked, it's going to get worse and it's going to spread back. This, you know, like blowback, like if you shoot a gun and that's recoil, and if you're not ready, it can knock your jaw loose, it can break bones in your body. That's where we are. Some crazy stuff. Louis the Seller, I read where it is for saying that Millennia Trump is more classy. Yeah, I saw that. Ah, uh, yeah, a woman who has nude photos on the internet against a woman who has law degrees. Yep. Job security, you love the job security is a myth for real. Uh, Pauline, moral dilemma. Take advantage of the current situation. Crime awareness feeds my business. Here's my thing, and let's let's jump on this with Pauline. If you serve your community well, and you offer a good product, it is not taking advantage of people. Let's be real clear. If you're pro- like, okay, uh, my thing, no, the never broke action pack. If you go in there and you do the stuff, it will improve your financial life. It will. It, 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 it will. It just will. So if your stuff really works and helps people, take full advantage of that. Push as hard as you can. Because as you said, Crime is going to go up when poverty goes up. Crime goes up. There's a lot of people, and this is not an excuse or I'm forgiving these people, but if you got to go steal something from this guy to feed your starving kid, guess what? The, the thievery is on. It's not doesn't make it right, but statistically, poverty goes up, crime goes up. They are closely correlated. What are your thoughts of being a real estate agent in this new economy? Do it. There are pockets of wealth. Like I should get a camera and just go around the neighborhood. They're building million dollar houses on spec and that's when they build a house before they sell it. That means someone has enough confidence that they're gonna sell this multi, this million dollar plus property and borrow a lot of money and build it and have it sit there everywhere. I was out this weekend and I just like, they're just cropping up. So there's money. There's money in certain neighborhoods like um, like Chastain Park, Sandy Springs, Dunwoody, uh, Doraville Station, there is the places I just mentioned in perimeter. Each one of those places has not one but several billion dollar real estate projects going on right now. If I go outside my house, go to the up the Roswell Road, I see cranes all over the place. So, real estate bumping in some places, residential and commercial. Um, Melissa, I'm scared to dump, but I'm gonna try and make as much as I can. Keep hustling, keep hustling hard. Chris, I'd rather be in the USA giving a dick share. Shirt. They're relevant in the Harriet country. <laughs> Fear is the only darkness, Master Poe. What's up, vegan? I go to the bank and ask for two dollar bills to spend. Usually, get someone never seen them before, or if asked, they could take money from a supervisor. Uh, Patrick Lewis, Black Wall Street by Hannibal B. Johnson spoke about during Jim Crow that was all black people had was to pool their money together in order to build a community. I mean, there's s- several people who've done it. It works. Uh, how do you see pharmaceutical sales in the near future? Exploding. Uh, in just a few days, Trump has tarnished an American brand image. Does it take longer to build a brand image than destroy one? There's this thing about in the 40 laws of power about guarding your reputation. It takes a lot of time to build a reputation, but you can destroy a reputation overnight. We already had some problems because of the wars that we kept going on. So our reputation was bad and this just kind of put a nail in it because football teams talking shit about their opposing team before they play them. You could easily beat this team if you hadn't said shit because they weren't amped up. But when you get people's pride up, you get their anger up and they're just like, what? You think I'm shit? Fuck you. 
Fuck you. We're going to win. You know, I don't know if it's about no technology, but you know what? I'm going to love. I mean, this is just some really bad shit because part of it is we got the biggest military in the world. We have the largest air force in the world. We got more nukes than everybody. But that is not the country that I was brought up in. You know, we smoothed things over. We we had treaties. We had talks, you know, and up until this fool, all our presidents were somewhat presidential, some more presidential than others. This guy is not presidential at all. He is like a child in a sandbox and he wants all the toys. It is just disgusting and it's disturbing. What free materials do you have that will work as a checklist to keep in focus? Good question. What you should do is come to Hustlers Kung Fu every day and watch a video every day. When you're working on whatever you're working on, in the background, Hustler Kung Fu every day because I don't have it because I don't even know where it is. But when I was building stuff, I used to listen to Lee to Field every day in the background, every day. Get Lee to Field, go to Amazon.com, eBay. You can get, get the CDs. And I would just listen to it every day because I was programming my mind for success by filling it with as much success type information as possible while ignoring the bullshit. Like fuckery is very seductive, right? That's why Facebook is winning, but it doesn't make you money. Fuckery doesn't make you any money. It's just pure entertainment. And you should kick back and put some fuckery on Facebook and have fun and start arguments with strangers to entertain yourself, but you should limit it. You should put a clock on it. You should put a time limit on it. It's like, okay, I'm gonna fuck around for 30 minutes and I'm out. And whatever happens, I don't care whatever comes, just you're done. And that will keep you focused. Uh, a girl got arrested for using two dollars for her lunch at school. What? That's insane. Jara the riot. How do you stay consistent? First thing in staying consistent is you got to have a purpose. If you just wake up and wonder what you should be doing, and it's not part of this larger, overarching purpose, like let's just say it's purely self-indulgent. I want a mansion. That's your big purpose. Everything you do is to get you that mansion. If you wake up in the morning. Is this activity that I'm doing going to give me that mansion? No, I'm not doing it. You got to have a purpose. You got to have a written. Oh, your stuff has to be written down. It has to be on paper. It has to be written down on paper. And even though I don't have one, I used to have one. You need like a big ass whiteboard somewhere. As soon as you walk in your office and you see that stuff and you just keep programming what you want on your mind. And then you do actions that take you there. Depressed people, big pharma industry will be hot for them. Oh, big pharma's gonna be hot for them. Okay, here, here's some things. Let's talk about pharmacy. They have the ability to reproduce organs. This hasn't passed FDA. So you get six, like your liver fails, right? They're, you're gonna be able to go in there and grow another one. No rejection. Now, these organs are probably gonna be a million to two million bucks a piece. But what's the price of good health in life? I keep saying, get yourself some money because this stuff's coming. You're going to be able to get new eyeballs. This is going to be a big part of biotech, big pharma. Stuff's going to be insane. There's going to be a pill that you could take, and 30 days later, you won't be fat. This future is awesome. That's what I'm saying. Start a business. Get to know other business people, because this is how you'll be able to tap in to some trends before the rest of the world, because you're in that business community. It makes a difference. <laughs> non productive FB. That's what I do. Even less than 30 minutes on Facebook. I can't stand Facebook. It's a waste of time. Facebook can be fun. Like I said, I like fucking with people. You know, get a laugh, get a giggle, make people look stupid. Broderick, Ultimate Sales Machine is true, very practical step by step instructions. Ultimate Sales Machine is a good thing to get. Uh, Reginald, what are your thoughts on t shirts selling online, i.e., Teespring? Okay, here it is. Forget the t shirt, forget the product. Okay. Find an audience, find a marketplace that already likes that stuff. Go in like a covert agent, right? Just hang out, be silent, see what they like. Then give them what someone else isn't giving them, and you're going to do much better because it's not about the T-shirt. It's about the audience. It's about the messaging. So, yeah, T-shirts work. If you got a good enough message, you can sell combs. The product doesn't matter. The audience just can't and queen and prince and princess it's all that is he i see mexicans work curbside trash routes for bottle posits they work it like a regular business route here in new york city as a kid you know that's real interesting is he i did something similar you know back in the day 
when you got your Coke or your Pepsi, it was in a glass bottle. And the old folks would like buy Cokes and, you know, they were old and not in the best health. So they let them stack up on their backyard. And there were people, and I was just going around the neighborhood. Hey, Mr. Glover, do you mind if I take your Coke bottles to the store for the refund? I could bring your hat back. No, no, just take them. Just, you know, I'll keep the money. I don't want that. Matter of fact, next month, come back again. So in a formal way, I develop a route. If you're willing to put in the work, there's money all around. Damn, Kirk. <laughs> uh, Ganji, idiot, how can someone trying to run a business part-time when your full job stresses you the hell out? It's a problem I'm trying to solve. Ganji, idiot, I'm about to give you some real truth. You got to make a decision. Is your business or your comfort the most important thing? Because you got a job, right? It takes your time, right? which means you may need to get a night shift job or you might need to get a part-time job or you might need to move in with some folks while you work on your business. Your actions dictate what's most important to you. So you got some choices to make, Playboy. Gerald, right? no, FBA is the ultimate learning tool. It depends on who you friend and what you subscribe to. Um, I'm going to disagree, Jairo. I'm going to really disagree. Because when someone like learns how to swap out an engine, they don't go to Facebook, they come to YouTube. When someone wants to learn code, they come to YouTube. When someone wants to learn how to cook a certain dish, they may come to YouTube or they may do Facebook. From an educational learning standpoint, Facebook can't fuck with YouTube. You just can't. So I totally disagree with that. Uh, primarily, even if you subscribe, you know, you can subscribe to people who have certain things and certain coalitions. I've seen that they have really tight Facebook pages, but Facebook for learning something over the YouTube, I don't see it. Not even close. Also, with Facebook, you're also being served ads and you're also, every time you respond to something, you are feeding the machine information that you can be sold stuff to later. So YouTube does it too, but Facebook has made it into a religion. Rob Jones, can being too comfortable with your life be dangerous? Yes. Yes. Hell to the yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because you get too comfortable, you may stop living. And I'm not meaning you die. It's just may you just may stop living. You may stop striving. You may stop building. You may just cease to exist as an interesting person. Roosevelt, I had a bottle route. What kind of things keep you sane? Kirk Johnson, meditation, working out, good friends. I, I have a really good group of friends and family. So, and I got some amazing neighbors too. Really cool. But meditation and working out are the more immediate things because, like, I have a real stressful day. Even if I worked out, I may just take my ass back to the gym and do what I can and just work that stress out because stress will build up in you. It, it will. And it's just another thing. Another thing is I've cut back on the number of projects that I'm working on, and I, I'm really doing stuff that makes me giggle, makes me happy, and I really enjoy it. So that goes a long way towards it. And his audience. Boss Man, 10-4, AG is a certain movie company. They've been posting online, critics list to advertise, but they haven't had much success. What audience on Facebook can I use? Okay, Boss Man, you are doing a moving company. You need to be in Angie's list. You need to be placed because, all right, a, moving, a move is not something that people do every day, every month, every year, or even every decade. So when someone's looking to move, how do they find you? They gotta, you got to make yourself readily accessible. And if you're going to do Craigslist, you're going to have to constantly run that ad every week consistently. So when someone is ready to move, they'll see you or maybe they're getting ready to move and they didn't. Then they were like, oh, shit, there's Boss Man 10 Ford. He's been posting on here for six months. He must be legit. So that's what you got to do. Steph Perez. Yes, Glennon, YouTube is a place for content that attracts and drives new traffic and people. You ain't better believe it. If you notice, I don't really fuck with Facebook that much. Facebook, here's my thing with Facebook. Recently, I had a page unpublished because I did not post enough content. I got YouTube channels, other YouTube channels I haven't posted in months. YouTube has not said anything to me. So if you don't play their game, they're going to remove your stuff. Plus, the number of people who are getting Facebook suspensions is at an all-time high. If you make a political comment, you go into Facebook jail. 
I might, I was just sitting there. I was just, no, that's just too dangerous for me. This is too dangerous. Sure thing, Ganji. Barry Bishop, YouTube's is best. I find my my wife's car window. BMW wanted to charge eight fifty. I saved seven hundred twenty for YouTube rules. I'm I'm telling you. Uh, Raquel, heck yeah, especially for business come to you, you, business come to YouTube all the way. Ha, who who here has tried to search for stuff on Facebook? Their search for certain things is atrocious. That's a big problem. That's one of the other things I'm like no. Uh, Jerul Durai, I should be more specific. FB is great for learning market trends. All right, let's uh, qualify that. Facebook is great for learning bullshit internet marketing trends that gain people and don't provide real service. I know a lot of these fuckers. I know how much money a lot of them make, and I know the games they play. How many people are coming on Facebook talking about building a real business from scratch? It's always some gimmick or something like this. Very few people. So, uh-uh. I, I, once again, I would disagree. Everybody doesn't have the skill to be an internet marketer. Everyone doesn't have the skill to be a writer. What these guys do is take someone who has these high skill sets and use them as an example of their course working. Uh, my course, 30 Days to 2500, I talked about it many times. I had people do amazingly well, and I had some people suck ass, and it bothered me. And I realized it wasn't the course, it was the person. But a lot of internet marketers won't tell you that because that's the truth. There's the modality of learning. There's auditory learners. There's kinetic learners. There are people who need teachers. There are people who need proctors. So your course can be, quote, the bomb, but the person doesn't have the learning skill sets or is not predisposed how your course is set up to learn, they're not going to do well with it. So there's all kinds of fuckery on there. I, like I said, I know these guys. When I went to some meetings, I started talking to people, and we started talking about money, and I found out I was making just as much as they were or more, and I wasn't doing none of the shit they were doing. I realized they were running on tactics, and they were running on joint ventures. They were not creating real businesses from scratch. They just weren't. And that, that was like a problem to me because as long as you use these tactics, as long as you use these rules of these platforms, the minute they change, you are out of business. You're gone. So it's better to do the hard work of learning how to build a business, learning how to isolate a marketplace, learning how to run customer service, CRM, customer relationship management software, doing the real work. So when these platforms change, your money doesn't change. That's, that's my rant. I'm just like, hey, I, every day, people send me, oh, so-and-so got suspended on Facebook. I know a guy who got suspended, and his only source of income was Facebook. That dude went damn near went bankrupt. Keep on. Keep on with it. Keep on. As the old man used to say when I was a kid, you're going to learn one day, boy. <laughs> you're going to learn. Sure thing, boss, man. Facebook is it, atrocious. Alternative currency, Tai Chi, meditation, ve ve uh, vegetarian diet, gimmick, hustle porn. Yes, hustle porn is gimmicks. Uh, do you see an opportunity to capitalize on all the fear mongering and Oh, hell yes. Yes. Nope. Sound of video. Uh-uh. I'm good. That's on your end because uh, I got all red lights and my monitor still kicking. Mommy motivation. So hard head makes a soft ass, like my mom used to say. <laughs> uh, Richie Poe, FB has been great for me building email lists, not much else. Um, I even have a different opinion on email lists today because, like, uh, some of you might be on my list. I'm only sending out, let's see, where are we? I'm only sending out notifications when these things are going to be live, right? That's the only thing I'm using it for because I'm, like, I'm totally revamping what I do. I'm telling you, if you have a good inbound strategy, marketing strategy, you don't need a Facebook page. You don't even need a website. For two years, two, I used Gumroad exclusively. I didn't have, a, you know, people are like, you don't have a dot com. I don't really need one. So, and once again, I had to change tactics because the platform changed tactics. But since I know how to build a real business, I just made some adjustments and the money kept coming. 
I know people who have completely gone out of business on the algorithm change. That stuff, it when it works, it makes you a lot of money. I'm not even going to say it doesn't. It does. But the minute they change up on you, and the thing you can um, count on is it's going to change. That's fixed. That's It's going to change. So that's my thing. Eric, I've been on Facebook ready to purchase from folks, but they don't have a real website or other ways to reach them. I'm going to give you my funnel for a few years. YouTube video, link under the video, call to action. That was it. That was it. <laughs> that was it. So, but you got to have content. And the thing is, you got to consistently let people know what you do. Oh, Facebook. Fa let me tell you a story about Facebook fuckery. And I got another page. And whenever I would put up certain topics, the same people showed up. And I tested it, and I would put up a different topic. They would not show up. I would put mother. Then I would go back and post ten posts of this same topic, and each time they would show up. Now, how did they know this? Because Facebook says when this person goes to his page, it's and they make sure it happened. Just like putting two types of acid that you know if they touch each other it's going to explode they intentionally do that so i'm just saying uh, instagram live i saw some people using it i haven't used it because like i said i'm straight i'm redoing my business have you ever heard of an internet marketing company called moog nope never heard of them but just focus it on your businesses and you will be fine. Now, if you don't have a business and you have a job, I got some advice for you. Don't quit your job, but find something you can do. This may not be the business. You may have to go through three or four businesses before you find the business that you really like, right? Do that and get started today. Don't wait until this weekend. Don't wait until you get your tax refund. Tonight, sit down. Figure out what you can do on the side and get that process started tonight. Because regardless of what happens in the next four years, these are some things that you can count on. If you are poor, if you don't have resources, the chances of you getting fucked over are very high. And why do I say that with full confidence? Because if you're poor and you don't have any resources, you're getting fucked over right now. So just take that for what it's worth. Because, you know, I've talked about personal situations. And the reason that I came out on top was, one, I knew the law, I knew the game, I knew, it was, and I knew how to speak. Those are skill sets and resources. You, you got you to gotta load up on resources. You got to load up on options. This whole thing of just making do, that's dangerous. That's very, very dangerous in today's crazy world. <laughs> God, you haven't been on Facebook since. I mean, sir, you know. It, it, it really can be. Sure thing, Lamote. Uh, Rod Jones, how should I deal with friends and loved ones who don't have a business mindset? Love them as a friend and family and leave them the fuck alone on business. I have learned a long time ago, I don't talk business with non-business people. They don't get it. Um, it it's just, you, you just like button your head against the wall. They're not there. They're not open to it. Leave it alone. Go out, network, find yourself some business friends to talk business with. That's how you deal with them. People are becoming blind ass, have noticed lots of change in print media. Pauline, let me tell you what's going to happen. And it's going to take some countries or companies a long time to catch up with this. Traditional advertising doesn't work nowhere near as it did 10 years ago. And that's print, media, whatever. What's going to work? And some of the stuff that I'm doing is I'm having clients create shows, entertaining, interesting shows to run their ads against because people will watch the show and they'll get more clients and more sales from the ads because it's native advertising. And it's also have the ads be congruent with the topic of the show. So the people who watch the show self-qualify, it's, 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 but they don't want to spend the money and they have these budgets and they're used to doing it the same old way. Uh, let's go with email. 
years ago, I put people, I, literally, you know, it's illegal now. I just threw people on my email list. If you responded to a Craigslist query, you went on my constant contact. My open rate was 70 and fucking 90 percent. Now, people who say they want to be on the list, it's, not, it's like what? A good day is 25 percent. A normal day is like anywhere from 10 to 16 percent. And these people say they want to be there. Why an average person gets 140, 200 emails a day and they got to choose which ones to open up? Once again, I'm just paying attention to how people are responding and I'm governing my actions accordingly. Is there a good book resource on outsourcing? Spend quite a bit of money on Kindle publishing and I'm loving it, but I'm clear about the return on investments. Um, I don't know if anything about outsourcing. Uh, one of the things is that for me, you know, do what you want, but I have moved away from outsourcing, um, hiring real people that I can talk to. VAs are nice, but just some things you're just going to do better with a native an American. And I was here before Trump even got in office because I had issues with VAs and there's sometimes language issues. Sometimes if you get someone in the Philippines, the fucking grid will go down and they're in this down and you can't, you can't, you won't hear from them for two days or three days or whatever. Uh, a tsunami, a tsunami may happen. And I was like, I'm not doing this again. I'm just not, but that's just me for some other folks. It's worked really good. Chris, side hustle is the shit. I'm working blogs, selling shit on eBay, working a nine to five, and occasionally consulting on tech here. There's a guy to trim the list soon. Cool. You hustling. Gothic Angels Kennels. What do you think about real estate? Buy up or fix up or rent or not? Depends on you. If you got the cheese to do that, do it. Here's the thing. Real estate is a very powerful way of getting wealthy. But the reason most people can't get wealthy with it is they don't have any money and they don't have a good credit. And if you partner up with someone with money, you're not getting the full deal. You're an employee. You're not an investor. You got a little bit of options after being dropped from my office jobs and then play that. <laughs> uh, Richie Poe, Glenn and Curious, what would you use for marketing your products if there was no YouTube? Hmm. You know, I never thought about that because Let's go way back, way, way back. I started this thing because I was recovering from an illness and I was kind of bored. Um, that's a good question because really, I don't know. I've never had to do that. I never had to think about it. I really don't know. That's a good question, though. Izzy, the truth is people do not really apply what they read or even open a book. Reality is a change. It's difficult for many people. I agree with that. Uh, I'm not going to say that. Email, let's be clear. Email still works. It's just nowhere near as effective as it was five years ago. It just isn't. Now, you, you know, you'll get someone that has a super tight list with amazingly high open rates, but the conversions... That's what I'm interested in. How many people actually buy some stuff? That's the real magic. So, yeah, I mean, you still need an email to contact people. I got two accounts. I got a MailChimp account and the convert kit. I'm probably going to drop the convert kit after this month and just stick with the MailChimp. But I'm looking at something totally different for the business model. But, you know, just stay focused, work on your businesses, and you're going to be much better off than a lot of people out here who are living on a wing and a prayer, who are who are ass out but don't even know it. And this this is the thing. If you have one thing happen, like if your car stops working and it throws your financial world in a tizzy, you're ass out, but you didn't know it. If you get fired and you start losing shit within a month, you're ass out and you didn't know it. There are so many folks who are on the precipice of financial ruin because they don't want to embrace the fact of what their situation is. Like a lot of these people who are marching on both sides, you know, it should be a digital revolution. You know, I think people should come together online, create political action communities, put their money together and create think tanks and really drill down on the real issues because Marching in the street, it, it brings awareness, but, you know, the people in power are like, you know, up there on the, the 54th floor and they're looking down at the ants marching and they're like, they're marching today. John, what time is this? Oh, it's going to be over at five. Great. I'm going to have to be at the club at eight. 
That's what they're doing. <laughs> like going, oh Lord. Whoever asked about a way for people to find you, I realized that Google Maps is great. They can directly call you or link it to your website. Yes, they can. I don't know why Facebook removes dormant pages, David. They didn't tell me. They just like, hey, if you ain't publishing, we're getting rid of you. Um, Barbara, your work writers on Upwork. I'm finding that the clearer I am on exactly what I want, the better it goes. I use Fiverr for formatting covers. Cool. Uh, what do you think of using SMM and apps to build contact? I think it's worse than the email because I get calls like this happened the other day. Someone called me and I thought it was my uh, cousin who, because it's this weird number because she works for the government. And I was like, hello. And they kept going, hello, hello, hello. And then it went into a recording. So the recordings now have active response. And I just hung up. Typically, you know, you're going it, to, it's just, I don't think, I mean, their company's built on it. So clearly someone's making money. I just don't like it and I'm not going to use it. But do what you want. Let them protest as long as they pay taxes. Pretty much. I mean, it, it, it's just a wild, wild thing. But any business works. If you, you know, and this, this really goes, and this isn't like follow your passion stuff. I'm not into that. But the reality is you need to find something that you actually like doing because starting a business is hard. There will be bullshit. There will be setbacks. There will be fuckery. Shit's going to go crazy. Shit's going to go sideways sometimes. But if you like it, you can weather those storms. But if you're just strictly doing it for the money, uh, the prestige, or the position, someday it's going to get really, really old, and it's going to suck your soul out, and you're just not going to want to do it anymore. Push notifications. Once again, I'm kind of the same thing because. All these websites have push notifications, right? And I'm always saying no. But then again, I am more of creating content to create marketing than to add things. So that could change at some point. Ads work better for interactive stuff, something really useful in the moment in games and music, entertainment. Okay. Gerald, I disagree with y'all slamming FB. I found a lot of gems on Facebook. Okay, let's challenge that. How many of those things have helped you make money? And when we say money, let's say ten thousand a month, fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand a month. How many of those things? Because I'm on Facebook and I see a lot of these people and I look at their information and I'm like, I mean, on this channel, if you want to watch all the videos, I give you the, the tips and the guidelines on how to go out and start a business, uh, how to make one fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred a month, start a service business. Boom. I don't see that stuff on Facebook. I don't. Maybe I'm in the wrong crowd. I just don't see that. I see a lot of boats and cars and me and my friends were on this boat and hey, where were you last night, last year? And the guy didn't even know how to answer that question. Douglas Jones, thanks for being the voice of reason this time of seeming madness. It is a little nutty. Wait, you don't agree with starting a business with something that you're passionate about? What's the key factor, or what this was a key factor in being successful? Let's be real clear. Someone's chasing you, right? Someone's trying to kill you. And then you are tussling with them, and they got a gun, you knock the gun away, you hit them, you knock them out, and you run away, right? Is that passion? No, that's fucking determination. That's what you need to be successful. You need something that you are just fucking determined to win at. Because there's a lot of people who are passionate about shit and they're not good at it, but they're passionate about it. I'm passionate about my tea, but couldn't make tea worth shit. I'm passionate about my flower arrangement, but couldn't sell one. So passion is like glucose or glycogen. It burns so quick. Now, you want to have a better energy source to run your engine of success. And determination is a real strong one. Like uh, Barbara Cochran, when she said this in an interview, and I really agree with her, she said when she was picking people to hire, she would look for folks that had been wounded or had a chip on their shoulder. They weren't passionate about proving people wrong. They were determined to prove people wrong. It's a different kind of energy. It's some shit that will keep you up at two o'clock at night. It's some stuff that when you get it, you still are like, keep proving it. 
Like, um, I remember some stuff that was said to me years ago because the person didn't know how much money I made. And I was like, well, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And it's like, you sure you can do that? I'm petty like that. Just petty, petty, petty. Because a lot of people speak out of their asses. And, you know, I'll be the first one to say, if I don't know something, I don't know it. I don't know. People ask me all the time. I was like, I know nothing about affiliate marketing. I never did it. I'm not going to assume or put out some answer to make myself look good. I don't know. But a lot of folks will speak about things they don't know with vigor and gusto. <laughs> it is crazy. Do you sell physical products as well as info products? No. I only sell info products at the moment. Listen to me. I want, you want an FB story? My guy saw someone selling old beer cans for $10. He went and bought them and six sold for $1,189. That's cool. Very cool. Now, the FB buy and sell groups are bumping. All right, to buy a physical product, there's a lot less trust involved in info products. Like, hey, I need a pen. Oh, here's a pen. Price is right. Sold. That happens in seconds. <laughs> so that's a different animal. Uh, Marvis Cotton, what's good, G? Do I need a business license when I start my service business? Depends upon your city. This is my advice to you. Start a service business, start making some money, then get your business license, then get your LLC. That's my advice because you don't know if that shit's going to work and the government will take your money and then next year they'll send you a bill for some more money, whether your business made a dime or not. They don't really care. Biz vengeance. Promotion ABC, what do you think is a good practice to start really teaching our children's focus day to day so they don't grow up being unfocused like most? Um, first thing, read to them. You got kids from the time they're infants to 10, read to them. Um, buy newspapers. I know it sounds funny because teach them how to read stuff. Thus, it increases their focus and they don't get that dopamine drip from a like or a swipe on their cell phone. Teach them Legos, uh, blocks, the wooden blocks right to build stuff. Have periods of time where they can't watch television. They, uh, I would keep television at an absolute minimum to maybe an hour or two a day that they can read whatever book they want. They could, you know, in games and stuff, you would have to do your chores to get to play a game. Stuff like that. That's what I would do. Because if you just give them an iPhone and they can get that dopamine drip whenever they want, like, ooh, here's a like, ooh, I'm on musically. They will be very, very short attention span people. Of divine purpose, determination allows you to put in work and be consistent to reach beyond your goal. When someone pisses you off, I want you to think about it. You're out there driving, right? This happened to me the other day. This was some weird stuff. I'm pulling out and I'm going up and this guy in this Patriot, he tries to pass me for some reason. Why? I don't know. So I'm going to, you know, I got a V8. I got a really fast car, right? So we get up there and he still, then he just whips in front of me because he he's just determined. That's like, okay. Then I jump back into the lane because I need to be in that lane to make my turn. And then he whips back over like this. Now that wasn't passion. He was just determined to be in front of me. And if I've been thinking about it, I would have called a 911 on this crazy ass because I was reckless driving. But people just underestimate the power of determination. When someone wounds you, when someone pisses you off, the energy that you have from that can be very powerful if it's channeled in the correct area. Where passion is like flake, passion is, is like what I call romantic love. It's very inconsistent. Whereas, like, you know, the love you have for your friends is very consistent. It's very consistent year after year after year. But you be falling in love with people left and right. I know someone that got married three times in four years. I ain't going to mention no names, but that, that, that was, whoo. There's a little story that I will not share, but it was just, whoo. I don't really talk to that person that more because I think they're crazy. But that's just me. Is it? Yeah. You got judges, governors. You have a, a Secret Service agent who says, I ain't taking a bullet for this fool. You know, she kind of backed down on it. But the reality is, 
getting shot for him and losing her life, she'd lose her job. That should tell people something. No one has ever said that in history. Then we heard. I sold 10 domain high price based on Facebook listing alerting of the VR trend. The money, man, the money. How much money did you make? People always be avoid those money and net profit conversations. Oh, all acts sold the business and the book built to sell. Uh, the JWB competition with my little sister keeps me striving every day. She took the traditional role, doctor, and I took the untraditional role, drop out and start the business. On that, that's kind of the thing in the family thing with me because the other two have way more education than I do, but I'm the most successful person in the family. And I take a lot of pride in saying that shit. Rubbing it in because it ain't like neck and neck it's like it's like by miles i'm very proud of that but that's determination it wasn't passion <laughs> it's predictive analysis you didn't hear about that douglas yeah secret service agent says she would not take a bullet for trump it was all over the place Here's the thing that a lot of people just don't want to admit. Most of the country does not like him. He got in doing the electoral you know, college advantage. That was it. Hammered down on those states. Hillary did a very poor job and he won. But most folks don't like him. Most folks consider him an, an illegitimate president. This is going to be, let's just put it this way. Focus on your businesses. Build your businesses, build your brands, serve your customers, find audiences and marketplaces to go in and be of service. And when you're free time, watch the fuckery unfold. Uh, this latest thing with the, the ban, they just did it. The people who were, in, were responsible, the TSA people, uh, all of the department, they didn't even know what they were supposed to do. It was just like it was passed, it was signed, and they didn't even know, they didn't even have marching orders. As someone who was in the military, who studied how to be a leader, the first thing that you do with the people that work for you is you clue them in on their duties. He didn't do that on a massive and epic scale. The foot soldiers didn't know what their fucking orders were. You can't win a war leading like that. Just saying, don't believe me, study military history, look at how the Marines push down authority to the lowest person who's on the field because they're there and they need to make that decision to win the war. This was one of the most incompetent forms of leadership I've ever seen. It's crazy. It's pure spite. Ha, ha. It is. It is. Gothic Angels, I'm getting the business license expensive. And it depends on where he is. I like Trump. I've made money off Trump. I made a lot of money off his ass. I just don't think he's good for the country. There's my self indulgent interest, and there's a larger interest. And you know, if him not being in office means I didn't make that money, I'm good with that. I just saw this as an opportunity. Well, you did say Trump is a poor manager, but a good salesman. He is, you know, and let's let's talk about that from a business standpoint because good point. Let's take Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg is the face of Facebook, right? He ain't running that shit. Sandberg, board of directors, other people who are like 40, 50 years old, they're running that shit because as brilliant as he is, he hasn't lived long enough to acquire the skill sets to run a billion dollar business. Uh, Sergi, another guy for Google, they don't do shit with Alphabet. They got a whole group of people who run the business because that's not their skill set. They started it, 
They ran it for as long as they could, and they had the good sense to bring in seasoned management to handle the shit while they got made billions and do whatever the fuck they want when they want. This, 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 this is just some crazy. I mean, this this guy's managing the comp the co- the co- the company of the country, and it is already lawsuits are being filed against him already. It hasn't been a month. A lot of it's reckless, negligent, and just downright incompetent. How many people who have those three things going on in their job performance get to keep their jobs? How how many? You know? Gothic Angels. Currently, I'm revamping everything, so there's really nothing. Just watch the videos. Rockstone, would you translate your content in Spanish and other languages to tap other market? That's a project for later this year. <laughs> Damn, Chris McDonald. Promotion ABC, what avenue would you use to start or introduce a team to seeing success online, online or off? you be successful and happy about your success. If you are doing some online stuff and you're smiling and you're happy, they're going to be all curious as hell. you like, you do this and be an adult. And they're like, yeah. But, you know, the shit you like to do, like, did you ever sneak into your dad's porn stash? You weren't supposed to, but you knew he was like, every time he came out of that room, he was real happy. He was like, what's in that room? I need to go find out. That's what they'll follow. Um, do you see him getting kicked out? I put on my page impeachment 2019, 2018. If the, if he doesn't pull back, some bad's going to happen. Some bad is going to happen. That's just the reality. It's just reckless already. Steph Perez is damn good content. Glennon, hey, we keep it real here. Uh, Nigel, yes. If he continues on the track that he is, and the, the reason I said I think he's going to get impeached is because he didn't leave his companies. You cannot use the office of the presidency to get rich. If he does not leave his companies, which I don't think he has, and that companies make money from some international deal, that's that's illegal. This guy's an egomaniac. Think about it. His daughter and son-in-law moved to Washington. If they were running the, co- the company, why did they have to move to Washington? That's going to be a... Essentially, what they're going to do is he's going to have a conversation with his daughter and the daughter's going to go back to the two of the brothers. And that's how he's going to run the company without using electronic or written records. I mean, his companies, he's not leaving them. That's why she's moving there with the husband. They're just going to be errand boys back to the other two because he's still going to be making decisions. That shit's illegal as fuck. And I think he's going to get caught. They keep their jobs for being incompetent only if they work for the federal government. Damn, Gunji 88, you just sold some truth there. Forget month, it's been 10 days, hey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, Mommy Motivations, he's afraid of technology. He's afraid of computers. A lot of older people are. That's not so much him as his generation. They don't trust technology. And for him to be who he is, that's really, really scary. What are some of my favorite books? Rework. Um, Matter of fact, just watch a few, you know, watch videos this whole year because I put out a book list. Well, not a book list. I just went Amazon and did screenshots. And I don't know how long this battery is going to last, so I'm not going to get into that. All right, so we're a little bit over an hour. I got things to do. I'm going to try to do a stream every day this week. Try. We'll see how that goes. So if you like this content, be sure to go below the video. Hit that don't miss live shows, and you're going to get on the MailChimp list. And be sure to share this video with folks you care about. All right, so with that, I'm out. I got to let the dog out because... Some bad's gonna happen if I don't.